Hi guys, um, this is NJ. Um, today I'm going to briefly describe the example of image utilities. If you download the G file of image utility from my website, and the G file actually contains the example file that I show you right now. If you install correctly, you can see um, NJS tab here, and you guys can see the image um, components here. So for, for those who have no idea about how to track this component for uh, individual tab, um, I recommend you guys to press Ctrl Alt and mouse left click and then it directly show which component I use for examples. Great. Um, this is the first example. So we have load image component. What it does is it, it consumes the path of image and, and and it return the image class. And also in order to visualize, actually we need this image mesh component. So it, it consumes the image and create the mesh, as you can see here. This is the second example. So we have the resize. So basically this is the input image. And then this is the resize image. So we can um, regulate the um, X resolution and Y resolution of image. And what I did is uh, there are a few Python component. Um, what it does is basically I install a point here, right? And then it basically passes the color information here, and then we can populate the point where the mesh has the same color as the point. So we can also uh, apply the tolerance. This is the other example. This is an image. Wow, big rabbit image. And we did a resize here. And then the point, we actually calculate point on the white color and then populate the point with the same color data. Okay, let's jump to the other example. This is the example of branding mode. So we have a two, oops, we have a two image. One is elephant and rabbit. And we can apply different blending mode here. Like blending between one to zero. We have a two image. This is a normalized value and darken, lighten, and overlay. So just like Photoshop, we can apply the different branding mode with two different images. Okay, this is the example of image inversion. So this is the original image, and this is inverted image. Also, we have a threshold component. This is the original image. Again, this is the processed image. So the interesting point is we actually can apply high and low the threshold. Great. For the other example, uh, this is the original image. And we have a brightness and contrast component. The brightness control, uh, this is the value of brightness. And this is the contrast. Yeah, high contrast, low contrast. Also, we have hue saturation lightness component. You can play with the hue. You can make the color much more vivid and it become grayscale. This is actually the normalized value between minus one and one. And this is the lightness. Ooh. Okay, um, this is the example of the convolutional filter. Um, this is the original image again. This is the result. We can apply normal filter, 
Gaussian blur, blur box blur. So actually, we can directly import, directly use this metric to apply the convolutional filter. So we have edge detection. Oh, sorry. We have edge detection, sober, horizontal, or embossing effects, or sharpen, and so on and so forth. Okay, this is the example with a multiple strategy that I show you. Uh, we basically import image and then resize the image and apply the um, Gaussian blur filter. So this is the Boston map and then we resize it and apply the blur filter. And there are three Python components. If you guys are interested in the, what it does, it's just double click and then just tracking the line by line. And basically, what I did is same as before. I installed a point here, little greenish area, and then we can populate the point for that greenish color on the map. Also, we can define particular color by controlling R G B. Yeah. Okay, just play with this component. And, and we have a more complex example. Um, so basically we have two maps. One is Boston and the other one is the New York, Manhattan. And I apply exclusive um, branding mode here. And apply the Gaussian blur. Uh, in this case we can apply like embossing. Yeah. Here we go. And I apply the brightness and contrast for image to make a more like, contrast, you know, in order to extract value from the mesh. And same as before, we have a little black color here, and then populating the point. In this case, I just use point, but you guys can do more complex stuff based on your algorithm, okay? And this is the sort of uh, last example that I have. Okay, this is the Boston here with the normal convolutional filter and edge detection here. Oops. Map, edge detection here, and ambushing effects. And the other three image has a filter like this, normal and Gaussian blur. And then each um, three of them has their own particular parameter in terms of brightness and contrast and hue and saturation brightness. Uh, so here. And the last one is same as before. We have a point here, probably, I don't know, tree or something like that. And yeah, we can public the point. So these are very brief um, example and description so um, I think you guys can make a more complex and more meaningful example based on the um, this example so I highly recommend you to use this one to your project and if you guys have any better idea or some, some bugs please let me know um, thank you for watching